Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Fan and today we are doing a transformation video and by the title as you can see we are doing the soft girl look aesthetic transformation if you want to transform with me during this quarantine every step i take in this video is easily done at home so if you guys want to do or try out this look as well tag me on instagram i don't know um so yeah i just thought i'd do something fun while i'm in my home not leaving my house for any of the steps so you guys can totally do this too if you're bored and i would also like to thank princess polly for sponsoring today's video they provided all the clothing pieces i'm going to share with you guys in terms of clothing pieces to achieve the look and also my final outfit Okay, according to TikTok and Instagram and Pinterest and stuff, a soft girl I think has two aesthetics. Um, so the one I see a lot of is like the girly type of e-girl almost, like there are lots of hair clips but it's all pastel, pinks, um, lots of blush and cutesy vibes, very soft aesthetic. Um, but there's also the soft aesthetic where it's more dreamy, cool girl vibe. Um, with the vintage look for the outfit, um, hair bandanas or hair scarves, um, slim glasses, shoulder bags, very 90s I feel like or early 2000s. Um, so I'm gonna go for that aesthetic that I see a lot of on my TikTok especially, just like the dreamy soft girl aesthetic and I really want to try it out. I posted a photo of me doing the makeup look and the hair scarf part on my Instagram stories and a lot of you guys want to see how I achieved the look so I thought to integrate that makeup look into um, a fun video I thought I'd do a transformation into the soft girl look that I haven't really tried or explored before. So I'm actually wearing a piece from Princess Polly right now, a really staple piece. It's just like a white tank and I'm wearing some really cute ruffly waffle shorts. Super comfortable. Everything I share with you guys in this video will be linked down below. As well as a discount code right here, Lisa's Pays, that you guys can use for a discount on Princess Polly. And if you spend over $50, you guys can get free shipping and their shipping is always so, so fast. So I highly recommend Princess Polly. I shop from them very regularly and they always have the best, coolest, trendy pieces. So first of all, I have some accessories. I have some um, shoes that I really like. I love these slip on I and mean, these have a really thick heel so they're super comfortable. I have another pair similar to these in a more tortoise pattern. I also have this really cool bag. This one is not very vintage but I think it's like new vintage if you know what I'm talking about. These, this little bag pouch reminded me a lot of the Bottega Veneta bag which is like thousands of dollars so um, I thought I'd try out the look with this um, almost dupe from Princess Polly. Moving on, I have a couple dresses that fit the very dreamy vibe. First, I have here a mini dress, which is in this champagne color with this really nice satin jacket pattern. It has some dragons and some floral touches onto it. There's also this beautiful dress. This is a long maxi dress with the same kind of um, cupping at the top. I've been really into my greens lately. I think blue and greens do the look very well. And so I have another green dress, which I don't know if I can hold this up Correctly, but it's asymmetrical at the top and then it has a cutout in the bodice area and it's like ruched on the side. Another asymmetrical piece I have here is this bodysuit, which is kind of also hard to hold up, but there's a lot of holes in it that I'm trying to show you guys right now, but I think it looks really cute on. I also have a pair of jeans that I love. They have a great selection of denim on there and these are just plain, straight, kind of month style-ish type of jeans, no rips. No distressing at all it's just plain blue jeans which will match literally any every single top in this haul and i think jeans of course are an essential to this transformation going along with the vintage aesthetic we have two button-up tops here this one is a cropped floral print which i think looks really cute with any mom jeans or um, mom type of shorts and then we also have another um, button-up top which is kind of heavier the material is really really nice but it has a nice sheen to it it's kind of satiny um, and i can totally wear this as a crop top if i want to tie it i can wear it as a button-up tucked inside pants or i can wear it as a flannel type of thing where i can just open up all the buttons and wear like a crop t-shirt under um, and make it super cool like a little over jacket type of thing i don't know Next up, I have a romper, and this one I think is one of my top choices to wear at the end of this video for the um, transformation, but it's a really cute plaid pattern um, with some ruching at the top, pockets, and it's a romper, so it's super, super cute. Really, really like this one, and as you guys can see, I have a lot of beige in this haul. Beige is like a big color I've been seeing on Pinterest boards and things like that for the soft girl look, hence why there's a lot of it in this video. 
Next up, we have a cardigan that I'm seeing a lot on Instagram for the it girl, soft girl look. There is like a tie in the front. That's about it. You can wear it with a tank top or you can wear it just like this. And I also have a two more um, cardigans and these ones that I've been seeing a lot on Instagram in general. Um, they're just like fluffy, colorful cardigans. This one's a light blue one and then we have a bright pink one. And then we have a few mini skirts. We have a plaid one right here, which I think kind of is more schoolgirl look, but can definitely be um, casual if wanted. Um, and then I also have a leopard print skirt for perfect for like going out and stuff and there's a cute little slit on the side um it's very slight so nothing too scandalous or crazy um and it's a nice satiny material and very very flowy perfect for summertime and then lastly we have another more satiny mini skirt and this one is black with a floral jacket print on it and i think it's super super cute um no slits or anything it's just plain and simple and this is also like i feel like skirts with crop tops are a huge trend among the pinterest photos i've been seeing and like transformations on tiktok and stuff so i pulled inspo from those areas and here is my quick little soft girl haul so thank you again to um princess polly for providing the clothing pieces in today's video you guys will see me style the pieces at the end for the full outfit look so that is the haul <laughs> The next step in our transformation today is the makeup look and a lot of you guys were asking me how I achieved this look on my Instagram story so um, again I'm just integrating that request into this transformation so um, I have a clean face on I just showered so my skincare is all good we have moisturizer on and stuff like that so I'm just gonna do my makeup play some music and I will insert the directions on the screen somehow so enjoy it's a super simple look anyone can literally do this so um, you're welcome I want numbers in my bank Cartier all on my hand All the things I never had I want it, I want it I want millions on my gram You want chilling with my gang All the things I never had I want it, I want it See myself in the spotlight, fans waiting on my dancing on cloud nine. I dream of living the highlight, the better life. I have my contacts and everything on this is the makeup look I wore on my Instagram stories and you guys are wondering about all the products so yeah it's just like very you know 
the soft girl look very pinky girly um but not too much like i'm not doing like, creases or anything like that i actually added more glitter than the average you know girl next door vibe but i think it just looks really cute especially um with the whole blush across the face i'm wearing more in real life i swear the camera's kind of washing it out but i'm wearing a lot of blush in this region i think it just looks super super cute i really like the look and it's really fun to do and it's super super easy i literally use my fingers for my eyes and it's just easy eyeshadow that is my cup of tea anyway um i guess we should now kind of talk about the hair i would curl my hair and stuff like that but honestly let's let's be real clear i suck at doing hair but what i can do is tie this scarf around my head so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i do that okay so how i tie my scarf so what i have here is just a normal kind of like square sheer scarf i got this I, okay, I think I got this from Nordstrom. I have no idea, but you just need like a square scarf or whatever. Um, you can find these like basically anywhere where they sell accessories and stuff like that. And for my hair, part it whichever way you want. Tuck your hair behind the ears. I'm gonna tie my hair back into um, a ponytail just to keep my hair out of the way. Take the scarf, put it on top of your head, go behind the ears, and then tie it under your hair in the back ta-da adjust the bandana or scarf a little bit tuck any hairs behind my ear i don't really like anything messy in the front so i keep it just like that and now we have a cute little hair scarf for the soft girl look as for accessories, you guys were wondering where I got my um, safety pin earrings. I actually got them from En Route Jewelry. It's Best Dress Line, and I got her earrings when she launched them. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd finally wear them with this look because I think it's super cute. And then my other earrings, I'm pretty sure this one's from Bershka, and then I have an Astrid and Miu piercing right there. That's like my piercing jewelry. Same thing up here, Astrid and Miu. And then I have a little mini hoop from Majorie. Um, but yeah, those are the safety pin earrings. My necklaces always stay the same. I'm just wearing my Tiffany bean and a cross necklace my mom got me. And for accessories on my hands, I just have my Dior bracelets. But I mean, that's just my everyday bracelets. So I like, I, that's not necessary, of course, for this look. And I just have my wee ring on my finger. I'm, I lost two nails and I was going to have my little sister do them for me, but I'm really impatient right now. I don't feel like sitting for nails. So, um, but if you guys are wondering, these are just dip powder nails over some extensions and I got them in narrow square. They're kind of lifting a little bit because I've been washing my hands a lot so water's getting under. Um, we did this kind of fast so they're not like the best job. My sister does them for me at home. So that is the accessory look and now we're gonna finish off the entire soft girl look with an outfit. I'm gonna have a few, I'm gonna show you guys a few ideas I have in terms of what outfits I can create with the haul I shared earlier, so. Hey, pretty stranger, I think you look cute. Can I get your number? I wanna know you. Tell me your secrets, tell me your fears. Nobody will notice. Let's get out of here. Hey, girl, don't catch me looking. Oh, boy, I caught you staring. What do you think of me? Do you think of me? You got that new style You wear that perfect smile I'll take you on a date Are you free Saturday? And I final bit of my soft girl transformation i feel like this cardigan is the epitome of like a soft girl instagram type of vibe everyone's going for this cute girl next door soft girl aesthetic and i'm living for it so i thought i'd try it out i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i honestly don't know how to end this video so yeah i might just have a different end clip i'll try this again in a little bit
So I actually never even filmed an end clip for this video, but thank you guys so, so much for watching today's transformation. I hope you guys are all staying safe, practicing social distancing, and just keeping up with all of the recommendations from WHO and CDC. Um, I'm staying home, filming videos, doing schoolwork, so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys want to see from me next, but until then, I love you guys, and I'll see next you this my niche, play my role, what you hold, little boy best on reach Yo shit dirt, you get curved, I just saw and reap With that ease, hella clean, rips all on your knees That's that work, when you hurt, my head full of steam I got lucid dreams, I make movie scenes